Hey everybody, Mark here. Today we're going to look at the life and the home of a beloved television character, Mrs. Garrett, who appeared on both The Facts of Life and Different Strokes. Charlotte Ray was the actress that played her and she was much more than just Mrs. Garrett. So we're gonna take a look at where she grew up and a little bit of the history of her very rich and full career. Charlotte Ray was born Charlotte Ray Lebotsky on April 22, 1926 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. She and her family lived on North 12th Street above her father's tire and appliance store. She said she loved the neighborhood because there were a lot of different people, diverse cultures and religions. And I'd love to show you that house and that neighborhood, but I can't because it's not there anymore. The home that she originally lived in was taken over by an interstate. Her family moved to a community called Shorewood, just north of Milwaukee, and that's where we're headed now. So behind me, this brick house, is a home where Charlotte Ray grew up. Of course, she was Charlotte Ray Lebotsky back then, and she attended nearby Shorewood High School. We'll talk about that in a minute. This was also the family home when she went to Northwestern University in nearby Chicago to study theater and drama. Although we think of her as a comic actor, she was also a singer. In fact, that's how she started out. She found a lot of success as a nightclub performer. And when she was in Milwaukee, she started singing and performing on a radio show while still in high school. In addition to working in summer stock while attending school in Chicago, she found work in local radio and television. In the late 1940s, she put together a nightclub act that included comedy and she headed to New York and she played such venues as the Village Vanguard. In 1952, she made her Broadway debut in the musical comedy Three Wishes for Jamie. Two years later, she appeared with B. Arthur and John Astin. B. Arthur was Maud, we know her from Golden Girls. John Astin was Gomez Adams and the Riddler in Batman. Well, she appeared with them in Three Penny Opera. And then she originated the role of Mammy Yoakum in Little Abner. Around this time, she also recorded an album called Songs I Taught My Mother, which featured several songs written by college friend Sheldon Harnick. Now, you may know Sheldon Harnick. He is a lyricist. Her husband, John Strauss, was a television composer, and he did some music on the album. And he did a lot of television musical directing and writing of theme songs. Among some of the theme songs he wrote was Car 54, Where Are You?, which Charlotte Ray starred in. In 1965, she received her first Tony nomination for her work in the original musical, Pickwick. Four years later, she got another nomination for Morning, Noon, and Night. Of course, what she's best known for and remembered for is her role of Mrs. Garrett from Different Strokes and The Facts of Life. Now, she was only on Different Strokes for one season, but they really must have loved her character because they created the spinoff, which lasted a long, long time. It's where she was the house mother for um, the four girls. Well, it started out with actually more girls than that, but it landed on the four girls, Blair, Tootie, Joe, and Natalie. And an interesting thing, Mindy Cohn, who was one of the girls in the show, she played Natalie, uh, she was actually discovered during preparation for the show. When Charlotte Ray went and visited um, a girl's school, I believe it was called Westlake, and she met Mindy Cohn there. And that's how Mindy Cohn had her career launch. And since then, she has continued to do a lot of things in theater, in uh, movies, television, including the voice of Velma in Scooby-Doo. So behind me is Shorewood High School. This is where Charlotte Ray attended school. A lot of interesting people also attended school here, including William Rehnquist, U.S. Supreme Court judge, John Fiedler, who played Piglet and was also in uh, 12 Angry Men. He played Mr. Peterson in Bob Newhart show. The Zucker brothers, David and Jerry Zucker from the airplane movies, the Naked Gun movies, uh, scary movies, one of them made Ghost. So a lot of relatively well-known people uh, attended Shorewood High School. When Charlotte Ray went to school here, she was a member of the drama club, choir, the camera club. 
She said she was able to keep very, very busy with activities in and out of school. You know, I almost can't say enough about this remarkable woman. Uh, she's conquered just about everything, television, radio, movies, Broadway. Uh, she's had a couple of Tony nominations. She, had, uh, she was nominated for two Emmys for the role of Mrs. Garrett. She's had wonderful lifelong friends. Cloris Leachman was a friend that she knew all the way back in college. And in fact, she created the role of Mrs. Garrett's sister for Cloris Leachman. And when Charlotte Ray left The Facts of Life, Cloris Leachman stepped in. Uh, what, a, what a great thing to have, that lifelong friendship. And you know, it isn't over. The story continues. In the last few years, she was in the movie Ricky and the Flash with Meryl Streep. She wrote her life story, uh, The Facts of My Life. She um, has just, she never stops. And just recently, she was diagnosed with bone cancer. Well, she already had pancreatic cancer about eight years ago. And through chemotherapy, she beat that. And I have no doubt that we haven't heard the last from Charlotte Ray. And it all started above an appliance and tire store in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Well, I hope you enjoyed this taste, this little look at the life of Charlotte Ray. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mark from the Average Me Channel.